Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Black 2 and Pokemon White 2. Last time, we explored a multitude of side modes and gained quite a lot of power in the process. Past powers to be exact. Now, we move on with our journey, using these to our advantage. We may only have three of these stored in our sea gear at once and have to receive them from the entry. Since I got 11 of these orbs from doing that last Funfest mission, we'll activate it. Now we're more likely to uh, find rustling grass. This is the next feature that we unlocked from beating Charon. Yeah, just raking them all in, tying all into one another. Think of it like seeing tails in Oros. I wanted to make special note of this place because the only Pokemon found at rustling grass here is Patrat. Yeah, that's all you can find on Route 19. Big fat waste of time. Just wanted to make note of this because it's the only route that has nothing. Normally it's really helpful. If we were to say, go, uh, oh, Bianca, no, you're wasting the timer, no, it's only three minutes. I'm sorry, you better be sorry. I forgot to upgrade the Pokedex I gave you. I'm gonna add the habitat list, it's an amazing feature. I'm just gonna borrow your Pokedex for a second, twist that, nah, 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 stick a screwdriver, okay. In the habitat list, you can uh, check which Pokemon are in the area. It's a mode in the Pokedex. To use it, open up the Pokedex and tap the habitat list button on the lower left of the touch screen. Next, pick the area you wanna see. You can see all the Pokemon that live in that area. It even tells you which ones you've already caught. Nah, I don't need to hear this again. Oh, Senpai, I have a tip for you. When you're walking down a path, you'll sometimes see rustling grass. If you go to that spot, well, yeah, we've been all of this already. Feel like the Pokedex will make your world bigger. So, go to make different places and meet many different Pokemon, okay? See you. Bianca, I like you. Some people are worth wasting a past power on, and you're one of them. I mean that. By opening up the Pokedex and going to the habitat list, we can now sort by area and know if we have seen every Pokemon in an area before moving on from it. This is the precursor to the, uh, to the, um, the frick, the, well, the feature in Oros that took the bottom screen. Yeah, uh, that feature. Sorry, I'm not the biggest fan of Oros, so I'm not really the most familiar with what it's called, but yeah, this is where it originates from. It's such a shame whenever the B team has super cool ideas like this and the A team can't include it in their next main sequel because this was sort of the beginning of the sad truths of these games coming out too often. Sometimes it's just simply too late to include them. Uh, we want to go into this rustling grass, yes! Yeah, there we go, beep beep! And oh no, I have Picky out for this. No, I want Pignotti, Pignotti! We got two Pokemon that can be found through rustling grass, the first of which, Audino! Only level two to four? Maybe think about catching this in another route down the road. Audino has a utility purpose. It's found in almost all rustling grass and gives a lot of experience when defeated. It's not the highest EXP yield of any Pokemon, but is helpful to remember when trainers who actually rematch you are a rare breed. Regenerator is such a powerful ability when combined with Autono's high HP stat and playing on shift battles, allowing it to switch out without using a turn. Consider it as a tank for that alone. Autono is more flexible than most other marshmallows would have you think. With the capability to deal with physical and special moves well, when normal types are usually more special defense oriented. Its offense, on the other hand, isn't winning any awards. But Autono has attacks for any situation, can swap out moves thanks to reusable TMs, and there's something to be said for a Pokemon that isn't great on its own, but is a team player and can set up. Certainly not a great Pokemon and competitive or anything, but it's passable for the journeying trainer. Adding to a diversity, Autono is the only Pokemon to learn secret power through leveling up. This has a different effect depending on the setting it's battling in, and could be a fun move to try out. Everything from paralysis to minus attack to flinching. It's pretty fun. We can encounter Dunsparce at only level three? <laughs> Forced level, by the way, and there's nothing you can do about it. They were kicking him while he's down. So this is a bad Pokemon that I like. Its stats are nice, like really nice compared to the other low level Pokemon around it. It gets solid low level moves like Rollout, Pursuit, and Yawn. Rollout starts out at 30 power and it doubles in power every turn it connects in succession up to five turns. Dunsparce learns Defense Curl and if it uses it the turn before starting a Rollout chain, the power is doubled yet again. 
This makes Dunsparce able to steamroll through anything it'll be fighting for a good long time if it's able to get going. Like any good normal type, Dunsparce learns nearly every TM and has multiple good possible movesets, furthered by its ability doubling the chances of secondary effects. It sounds pretty good, and I would be inclined to agree, but long term, it's just so weak. Those stats fall behind quickly once other Pokémon start evolving. And Autono does basically the same thing. He has so many makings of a great Pokémon, but just can't capitalize on them because of bad stats. This thing deserved an evolution so much sooner. A Mega Evolution, an Alolan form for God's sake, anything! He waited for 20 years while you just sat around and made an Apom with two hands instead! I didn't quite get it. I decided to use the opportunity to hopefully get Lelopup here up to level 10 so that he would start picking up better items. I'll just take that, get an Oran Berry off of that Audino. I believe that does it for Rustling Grass. Just a nice show of what you can get there as well as what a pass power can do. Hey, that gleaming thing there is the basic badge. But don't get the swell head. It's a rough world out there. Here, I'll show you. Oh, you. You little... Big man! Rio! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. Uh, Lollipop, I hope you're okay to handle this one, buddy! Uh, you'll be fine, right? I ain't using Bite because you got uh, flinch based abilities. For once, your abilities are coming in useful. Oh no. Uh, you got in. Do you know an attacking move? I'm not sure that you do. One more hits? And do. It failed because he did it. Ha! Ha! I will remember you every time I pick up a good item. What's your name? Jerome. Jerome. Why was I so conceited to thinking I could show you anything? I don't want you to show me anything. All right, I'm beat. With dependable Pokemon like that, even a kid like you can hold your own against an adult. Yup. I really need to switch around my party and not have a freaking Lillipup in my lead role. Let's get Pignati out here. Okay. So now that we're done with that- oh, hi! Uh, got another trainer. No! I'm gonna start having some fun here. I'm gonna beat up a preschooler with my dog. I'm the strongest trainer in Verbank City's preschool! Gotta start somewhere. We'll start out by meeting Verbank City's preschoolers and work our way up to their gym leader. We'll get a Psyduck out here. Oh, look at him raising kind of a subpar Pokemon for this point on. This nighttime snowscape is beautiful. I really, really like it. Like getting to see different seasons. Oh, uh, Lear? Uh, you have water. Oh, here it comes. Okay, uh, maybe this was not the best idea. Swap you out. Pignani? I don't care. You got such a level advantage, I think you'll be fine. Scratch! And in fact, I- Critical hit, oof. I am so certain you'll be fine that I'm gonna do Flame Charge because there is a Metal Lock behind that. I also wanted to see if maybe I was gonna struggle to outspeed you, but it doesn't seem like I'm going to. I could finish you off with Flame Charge to, uh, just do it. Oh, hey. Orenberry. Yeah, we're fine. I'll just do another not very effective move, just cuz. <laughs> Feels good. Feels really, really good to beat somebody with that, especially when they're in preschool. I don't exactly sound like a badass right now. Lollipup, uh, Lollipup grew to level 7. Got 40 Poké Dollars for winning, that's 40 cents in yen. I know, I'll go home and take a nap. Mom always says I need lots of sleep I want to be a big kid. Please, wait! Come with me, you two! See the dark tall grass here? It's rare, but sometimes two Pokémon pop out at the same time. Also, the Pokémon that hide in dark grass are slightly stronger. So be careful what you walk through. If 
you're going to challenge the next gym, it's the Furbank Gym. These might help. Petcha Berries! They heal poison passively if they if you auto, if you automatically get poison. Both of you, do your best! If you need anything, call me on the cross transcyber. Sharon sure knows a lot. And he fought those Team Plasma thugs too. I've decided, I'm gonna get stronger than him. Wait, you still don't have one badge? Bro, do you even lift? <laughs> He's gonna go hunting in the dark grass? So will we. I settled on a compromise. Having Lollipup in the first slot and then having Pignati in the second in case two Pokemon jump out. There is one new Pokemon that can jump out at us in the tall grass, and it's... Yeah, right there, Venipede! We gotta talk about levels. First thing to know about Venipede is it's always level 10 and everything else in dark grass is around that mark. That's pretty attractive compared to Dunsparce. Sorry, bud. Speaking of Dunsparce, this also starts out with the defense curl rollout combo. Wow, uh, really outclassed there, buddy. Uh, its stats might be lower than Dunsparce, but I promise you it doesn't fall behind in the same way with time. Venipede evolves into a tank, then into a very fast attacker with respectable defense and good resistances. If you have to wait a while for the tank you want, it's nice that Venipede can just be a sufficient wall for a bit until it evolves fully. Its moves are powerful too. If I have to complain about anything, it's that almost all of its moves are bug or poison type, one or the other, so there's not a lot of variety to work with. It's one of those guys who just does its thing and does it well. Feels good to win a battle in the exact amount of time it takes you to say something important. Oh, uh, I'm getting kind of weak now, aren't I? Pignati, uh, you come up here. Lollipop, what do you got? Level 10 item? Full heal, nice. It's pretty good. You there. Hi there, look at my awesome Pokemon. That is our first example of a spinner. She was facing various directions. She does not always face the same one. And if you are running rather than walking when you pass them, they will always turn and face you right when you do. They're a little bit infuriating. Speedrunners detest these little children. But hey, they'll get over. Always feels good whenever you have a perfect spinner run. You know that you earned it by being patient, walking, reading your opponent's movements. As somebody who did a Pokemon speeder on themselves for the uh, first time recently, it was really eye-opening, actually. I really appreciate it. A lot of on-the-spot decision-making, a lot of strategy goes into it. No two runs are truly the same because you don't know what RNG is going to give you. I should put up my repels. You're level two? Two? I can't figure out just two. Get, get me out of here. I don't care about you. Just get out of here, you freaking bird. I'm going to show you something incredible. I'm going to put this in my free space. That's the sixth pocket of my bag, and it will have whatever items I have essentially favorited. I can access my repels anytime without having to scroll through that gigantic pocket. They really need to split that general goods pocket into more items because it's just, it's way too many things now with how many freaking items they've introduced. And I think, are you? Yeah, you are a force double battle. Two Pokemon. Stronger, strong and strong come together to become very strong. Um, one plus one, I don't know, because I skipped the text. I'm sure I'll figure it out someday. Ah, they're like, <laughs> don't tell me I'm going to level up off of this because that's just plain funny if that's what happens here. Flame charge. And I don't even need to lower your stats. I already know that we've won here. Tackle's 50 power. I got same type attack bonus. I'm level 10. Good night! I wonder if crispy burnt sunflower seeds would taste good. I did. I really did. I leveled up off of this fight of all the fights. Level 9 on Lollipup, too. Getting closer to those new items. I'll tackle you. You didn't one shot a sun curd. And you permitted it to heal? Lellipup, you ain't. The main thing about double battles is that they're a bit more strategic and that you can select specific targets and thus they go by a lot quicker than single battles. And let me tell you, this is going by a lot quicker than the single battle. Well, um, why well, my Pokemon can't fight any longer? Your Pokemon couldn't fight to begin with. Oh, 
All right. I thought for a second there that something was going to happen, but I guess it won't. Okay. I'm kind of glad it's not happening off of some Sunkern. We walk, grass rustles. It's Pokemon hide and seek. Do you know about Audino, Pokemon who's rustling, rustling grass? I wonder if Audino and other Pokemon give so many experience points. If they ever make a game called Pokemon hide and seek, please remind me of this video and me talking about it. You are with six Pokemon, but if you have more Pokemon, your journey should be even more I can't have more than six. Here, I'll give you the, what? I mean, sure, I appreciate it. You know what they say, cheerful company shortens the miles. Do they say that? Welcome to Verbank City, a rather dark place that we're gonna be spending quite a bit of time in. And now that we've made it, I say we end things there. Next time on Pokemon Black 2 and White 2, we explore the Verbank City area. See you guys then.